Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on supplements that I give my dogs. Um, I've been breeding and rescuing Australian Shepherds for about 10 years and I'm pretty happy with what I'm giving them. So let's get into it. First one is Brewer's Yeast with Garlic. This one I don't really um, give a ton, maybe a couple times a month more in the springtime when fleas and ticks and stuff are waking up. This is great for their skin coat and is a flea deterrent because there is um, garlic in them. Next one, Cosequin. So this is good for elderly dogs or any dogs that are needing joint support. This is Cosequin plus MSM. So this is for joints, there's glucosamine in it for cartilage, chondritin, which I'm sorry I said that wrong, for joint health as well. MSM is like a form of sulfur, that's great for joints. There's hyaluronic acid, um, and that's good for like the fluid in your joints. There is omega-3 in this, um, beta-glucan, which is great for immune systems. I love this stuff. I have a dog who's 10 and after about four weeks on it have seen a difference, so this is great. Let's see, next up, okay, so this is kind of a duplicate, I guess. This is glucosamine and chondritin, <clears throat> which I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I get this at Trader Joe's. This does have a lot of the same ingredients in the Cosequin. Um, it's just not as concentrated. So like, I'll give this to my dogs that are like, you know, seven, eight, nine. The 10 year old gets Cosequin and this one. These I do like, uh, Actually, these I do for the elderly dog every day. And then the, like, getting to be senior dogs a few times a week. Say, four times a week. One time a day. Next up, we have an omega-3 supplement. This is wild salmon oil and pollock oil. Um, this is great for their immune system, skin, and coat. Like, if your dog has any hot spots or something, this stuff is great. I do this probably every other night at dinner, like a good healthy scoop of this in everybody's food. And I don't know if you can see this, there is a feeding chart here too. So that stuff's great. Next up we have coconut oil. So coconut oil, you wanna make sure it's virgin, unrefined, um, cold pressed organic coconut oil. This stuff is great for so many things. Coat, itchy skin, digestion, bad breath even, immune support, improves cognitive functions, energy levels. It can be a flea and tick repellent, they say. I don't think so in my um, experience. It's antifungal, helps with arthritis, ligaments, and hot spots. I love this. I'll do like half a teaspoon per dog um, per meal, probably five times a week. And this works great with my next one, which is Oleo dehydrated carrots. This is, what it looks like. this is something that's excellent. Um, if your dog has digestive issues, diarrhea, intestinal upsets, anal gland issues, um, worms even, cause it's anti-parasmatic. It's good for their skin and coat. And what's great about this, you can kind of do a two for one. On the back here, it says like the size of the dog, water, how much carrots, and oil, which I use coconut oil. So I'll mix those. And this is awesome. I'll do this like three to four times a week with the coconut oil. All right, next up we have Himalayan salt. Um, Himalayan salt is actually awesome. It has to be like a pure form and I get it from Cornucopia Pet Foods, which I'll put the link down below. This harmonizes naturally, um, providing an alkaline or acidity balance and regulates water retention in pets. I love this stuff. This I just sprinkle on their food, like literally a pinch, probably three or four times a week at dinner time. Okay, and next one is turmeric. I get this at Trader Joe's. Um, turmeric's awesome all around for people and pets. It's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, helps with chronic inflammation, joints, can prevent cancer, like the free radicals and stuff that can cause cancer. 
helps with gastrointestinal issues, and can act as a replacement for steroids um, for pets with joint pain. I love this. This, I probably do a quarter teaspoon a day per dog. Not every day, same thing, like three or four times a week, and I just sprinkle it on their food. With all this stuff, you want it um, to be in their food because especially turmeric, it helps with absorption. By itself, it's not as great. So that's awesome. Next up is garlic, which I know is a little bit controversial. Some people are like, you can't give your pets garlic. Some say do. Garlic is excellent. I don't do raw garlic. I've found Trader Joe's garlic powder to be very pure, which I really like. Um, garlic has amino acids, sulfur. There's zinc and potassium, phosphorus. It helps detox bacteria and blood clots. It can actually help lower cholesterol, stimulate the lymphatic system, which is awesome. Um, it, is, it does have antibiotic, antifungal, and antiparasitic properties. And it is kind of good with flea and tick. Um, we live in a heavily tick populated area and I don't get too many on my long haired Australian shepherds knock on wood. So this I'll just do a light sprinkle like three or four times a week at dinner time as well. Okay, last but not least, I left my favorite. Cornucopia photo food and superfood. I absolutely love this. Um, to the point where when I do find people that I've approved for my puppies when I breed, this is in the contract to, that they have to give this to their puppy in order for the um, health guarantee to be held up. It's fantastic. I'm not going to list all the ingredients in it. I'll put a link below so you can go to their site and see. There's so many good things in here. Um, you have to give them together, photo food and superfood combo. This I do probably half a teaspoon um, five days a week in their dinner. Helps with their immune system, free radical defense against disease. Promotes healing, like if they get you know a cut or an injury. Helps with energy levels and vitality, improved digestion, joint and disease protection and an antioxidant. But this is literally my favorite. Um, supplement of all time. These are expensive. I think it's $80 for two, but honestly, how big are these? 4.9 and 5.9 ounces. They last a long time. I have eight dogs and I'm not well off by any means. Um, and so if I can afford to do all this, I really think anyone can. And you know, in the 10 years I've been doing this, I really haven't had any issues you know, knock on wood with disease or anything. My dogs are extremely healthy and I think it's due to supplements and it's not that expensive. This stuff all lasts quite a while. Um, the other thing I actually forgot to mention is bone broth. I do a homemade bone broth for the dogs, um, at least every month, once or more than once a month. I'll probably do a separate video on that because that's amazing too, but that's about it. Thanks for watching.